You know something about Tramella? Yeah, yeah. Excuse me, He's a really good guy. He does, the, he does it during the... He does it during practice. Please. This is good. very, very important. What up, guys? It's day two, but it's chilling. Lost to go get brunch or breakfast, whatever it is. So many people here, bruh. <laughs> no, it's fine. Yeah, guys, we out here in freaking Jefferson Memorial. Hey, guys. <laughs> Look at Clayland. Dang. It's I'm my first time being here. Like oh. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, I bet you get the best quality. Clayland, the same Fallout 4, bro. What do you mean the same Fallout 4? The same Fallout 4. You see this motherfucker? This is Fallout 76. <laughs> Okay, so I'm here to ask you how is your DC trip going so far? It's going okay. It's cold. It's not cold. Azalea, how are you feeling today? I'm sister shivering. Here's where you get uh, merch from DC. <laughs> uh, it only gives you about 10 seconds to cross the road before you get hit by cars. Uh, these these people do not care about your safety. There's a truck trying to hit us right now even though we have... Oh, one second. The White House is near. We will not be seeing President Trump today. Wait, will we though? No, we won't see him. Okay, okay, okay. We won't see him at all. They wouldn't take a bunch of native kids to go see Trump. <laughs> not in this economy. He wouldn't want to see us anyways. Shit. <laughs> guys, this is a big city. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> no, this place. You guys ever think you're going to be this close to Trump's house? Weird, we're like less than a mile away from him right now. Dude, what the heck? We are, huh? Yeah, he's just... He's chilling. He's chilling, he's bro. He's big chilling right now. So, we're going to be signing today and registering national emergency. 37 whole years, Jackson. Uh, for those of you who don't know, um, if this guy was to leave his position, uh, he's in front of the White House and you're not supposed to be here, but um, they allow people to take shifts and they've been here for 37 continuous years for 24 hours a day. Um, there's a couple, he said, a couple hundred people that um, take over shifts and stuff like that so that this isn't removed. So, I think that's really cool. We're at my house, but it's my house. It's your house? Yeah, it's you show me around. Then why are you outside the fence? You know, I got rented. It's rent out. You know, he got paid me a one million dollars. Need a small loan? That's just, that's just a mess. Guys, ain't they serious, guys? They strapped. That dude literally had a freaking AK-47. No, no, they had, he had an AR. This is serious. A quick protest. Quick protest? Huh? Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> what do you want to protest about? Uh, free kamachis. Yeah, free kamachis. No. Free kamachis. Free Chamon Khan. Low key Donald Trump, low key a fire president, huh? <laughs> Just play. This guy got my name wrong at the store and we're all trying to fight. <laughs> Make him play. We threw some hands. I didn't even made you play. I'm not like that in your play. <laughs> Yo, he gotta chill. Sad. <laughs> Eating food with your boy Gale. Mm. Your boy Gale. <laughs> Him and Zane were fighting. See this? See this? This is Gale's dog right here. Like, oh, see that Gale? That was the ball. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, cinematic. New cinematic? What? Cinematic? What? <laughs> oh, this it works. I'm so confused right now. This is like Wreck It Ralph. Like, remember when you go on all those games at the subway? <laughs> Wreck It Ralph breaks the internet. <laughs> where's my game? Where's uh? Where's uh? So basically, we're exploring the internet. We're we're Pornhub. Honestly, <laughs> Clayton, what are you doing? I'm like walking. So you're just walking on the freaking. Yeah, more or less. Guys, this is my first time ever. To oh shoot. <laughs> <laughs> We out here in the freaking capital. <laughs> Gotta keep it quiet because I don't want to be too loud. Wow. So who made that? I did. It's better than yours. It's sweet. I like it. Dang. This trash. Many of you know I am representing the Kansas 3rd Congressional District. 
and uh, folks often wonder how did a Ho-Chunk from Wisconsin end up in Kansas and it's because my mom, like, I'm, like a lot of Native people and Native women, uh, ser served in our armed forces for 20 years. So as you know, we all worked really, really hard and we saw a lot of amazing gains um, in the 2018 election cycle. I just, can, I, can we give you all a hand? Give yourselves a hand for all the work that you all <laughs> How do you feel? <laughs> this guy knows what? This guy knows Gary. Stop. So, shout out to him. I forgot his name. Hey, sir. Shout out to you. Oh no, my goodness, what's going on there? Just kidding, you know, like, you know something about Tramawa? Yeah, yeah. Gary Lay is an old friend of mine. Really? Yeah, yeah, you he hear that, good, Gary? He had a good jump shot back in the day. It's probably he's probably too old now for that to still go. No, over. he still does it during practice. Uh, is he one of the basketball? Coaches? Yeah, he's a coach. Excuse me, He's everyone. a really good guy. He does it during the. He does it during practice. Please. This is good. very very important. Oh. Uh, we have among us the first Native American and the highest ranking executive uh, lieutenant governor. Peggy Flanagan. Yeah. Boujou, everybody. Um, I'm Peggy Flanagan, and I'm Ojibwe sized. I'm fun sized, so it's a little hard to see me, maybe, uh, for the people in the back. But uh, I am really excited and honored to be here. Um, I just wanted to take a moment uh, and just uh, say, Chimi Gwish, say thank you uh, to Representative Holland and Representative Davids. Um, it has been just an incredible thing uh, to see you and to um, wave to you on the floor and to know that you are out here representing all of us. And to also know, as a Native woman in executive office, I know that sometimes it can feel a little lonely and it can feel a little isolating when you feel all of Indian country, like you are holding this, you are holding us up. There are so many people who are just lifting our hands up to you in gratitude and keeping you in our thoughts and our prayers. And I'm trying to do what I can hold it down from, from Minnesota uh, to make sure that we are turning the curve on the issues that face us and knowing that we are experts in our own lives, we are experts in our own communities, and that sovereignty and treaty rights are the supreme law of the land, and that we will do everything that we can to uphold them. So thank you for this opportunity to speak, and we just have our wave of Native women who are just coming to run stuff. And I'm honored and humbled to be part of this um, really badass sisterhood. Thank you. All right, where are we looking? Oh, oh. Guys, we, we, we found famous people. Just kidding, no. I want a picture with both of them. Oh my god. I want a picture with both of them. Oh, go get it. How are you? I'm doing great. Hi. I'm supposed to ask Chris. Oh, go ahead. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just going to ask you if um, we can film you. He, he does these videos. Oh, okay. What kind of videos? They're like the daily life. Oh, your daily life? Yes. So are you out here at NCAI? Yeah, I'm out here. <laughs> but I we were going to ask you if you had any advice for like um, young people who wanted to go to college. Oh. Hmm. I mean, I think the biggest piece of advice, well, I always give two pieces of advice. The first one is to take naps. <laughs> take naps whenever you can. And then the second one is that you get to define what success means for yourself and to really just keep in mind that like everybody else will constantly be trying to tell you what you should be doing. But as long as you follow what, what feels like the change that you can make, then um, I think that that's the best way. So if like going into politics is the way you feel like it's going to be the best way for you, make progress and um, then I think that you'll be able to get there regardless of what else says. Yeah. 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 What advice did you have for um, Native kids who wanted to go into politics? Are you filming it right now? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Well, the advice I have for you is to volunteer. Volunteer for a campaign of a candidate you like. You have every chance you get. Volunteer for organizations that you like, organizations that fit with your values, like perhaps uh, the March for Our Lives or 
or Moms Demand Action Against Gun Violence or something like that. What you need to do is just get some grassroots organizing under your belt. Uh, you get to know people that way. Uh, when it's time for you to run for office, you make phone calls and all the folks that you volunteered with or that you organized to volunteer for whatever campaign you're working on, they'll all come out and volunteer for you. So I just want you to get involved. <laughs> Guys, uh, I met these people that subscribed. Wait, what's your name? My name is Danielle, and I'm subscribed to Jackson's YouTube. Hey! <laughs> I'm so excited. Look, it's him, and then he's right here. Thank you, thank you very much. We out here in the freaking the FBI place. Uh. Yeah, I know paparazzi. <laughs> All right, thank you guys for watching. Bye. Bye, no, bye.